Helvetia, the History of a Swiss Village in the Mountains of West Virginia, by David H. Sutton. In the isolated mountains of West Virginia rests a small village called Helvetia. Established by Swiss immigrants in 1869, the original settlers of this community preserved their cultural traditions and values among these hills while enduring the harsh and extraordinary conditions of an Appalachian wilderness. As farmers and herdsmen made their way to Helvetia, many craftsmen and professionals joined these groups of settlers. Stonemasons, carpenters, painters, cheesemakers, musicians, teachers, ministers, and doctors all came to Helvetia in the hopes of starting a new life, and their presence still lingers within this community. Nineteen ninety-nine, but the the reason I like the reason I like about Helvetia is the people that came here, Swiss people, their working attitudes, their kindness, and what they did. And uh, <clears throat> as growing up here, with not the original people, but the second generation or so, we went to one church. We knew everybody. We had a lot of things to do. We had 4-H clubs, farm women had clubs, farm men had clubs to go to. Sundays we'd go to meet people in houses, people's houses, the whole family would go and have dinner with them. So everybody knew each other. But you have to respect the people who have come here in 19, 1869 and do what they did just to see this place, what it meant to them because it looked like Switzerland, little Switzerland. 1869, like I said, they came here, walked over the hill here from Clarksburg. Took four days to walk over the hill. They settled in this town and made a go of it. So you gotta respect people like that, and, and their spirit lives within our hearts. That's why we want to stay here and do what we can to help us survive a Swiss community of Helvetia, which means little Switzerland. Today, the cultural traditions and values of Helvetia's past are preserved and sustained by a new generation of residents and supporters. Throughout the year, this community comes together often to celebrate the customs of the Old World. Each autumn, the Helvetia Community Fair celebrates harvest time through traditional Swiss folk dancing, singing, flag swinging, and cuisine. Spring suppers serve guests over 60 bushels of the wild Appalachian leek known as the Ramp as well as ham, potatoes, applesauce, and cornbread. Fashnacht, a pre-Lenten carnival, expels Old Man Winter from this isolated village as participants dress in costume and celebrate the dismissal of wintry weather with a masked ball and bonfire. Visitors and locals still dine at the Hute, the village restaurant, enjoy a stay at the beekeeper bed and breakfast, and stop by the cheese house, gift shop, and general store to purchase goods and admire local craftsmanship. David Sutton, a native of Helvetia and a professional archivist, wanted to preserve the history and culture of his home. Over 20 years ago, he worked to publish a history of Helvetia. Now this long out of print edition has been reissued by West Virginia University Press with a new introduction, appendix of foreign born immigrants, and exquisite photographs featuring archival images of this Swiss village still thriving within the isolated backcountry of central West Virginia. Celebrate the traditions of Helvetia, West Virginia. Helvetia, the history of the Swiss village in the mountains of West Virginia, is available for purchase at WVU Press dot com.